are mosquitoes during winter. Mosquitoes, little innocent looking creatures. They are known to ruin even the most beautiful summer night. Who could imagine the difference between their small size and the large impact they have on our world? These little creatures that feed on blood certainly mean a lot to the ecological balance. Our question at this point is, if there are so many mosquitoes in summer, where are they during winter time? The summer evenings when you couldn't enjoy your dinner in the garden, or the nights you couldn't sleep fearing mosquito bites. Which of these makes it harder for you to have mosquitoes flying around? Let's get to know these little creatures first. The body of a mosquito consists of a head, chest, and belly. They have antennas on both sides of their head, with which they decide whose blood they want to suck. On their chest parts, there are a pair of wings and three pairs of legs. Their bellies are designed to store a huge amount of blood, which they suck with the help of their needles on the mouth area. Mosquitoes that can fly at speeds of up to two kilometers per hour also help to transport pollen to flowers, just like bees do. In addition, they are one of the most dangerous animals in the world. One bite of a carrier mosquito can cause the West Nile virus, dengue fever, and malaria to spread. Mosquitoes are the most common cause of these diseases during the summer months. Now that we know more about mosquitoes, let's get to our main question. Where are they in winter? Let's continue with male-female relationships. As you might already know, blood sucking is done only by female mosquitoes. This could be the consistent rule for every living being in the world. And as humans recognize each other by their voices, male mosquitoes recognize their females by the sound of their flapping wings. But be careful. This small but dangerous animal we are talking about has the ability to lay 200 to 300 eggs at once. So when does the female mosquito that has had to suck blood to lay eggs start flirting with the male mosquito? That's where it takes a little longer. This is because the male mosquito develops first in adulthood, which prevents the female mosquito from hearing the female call that has already begun. The male mosquito that has reached adulthood can now, thanks to Johnston, their sensory organ, hears the female mosquito's calls and starts to follow them. Pairing can take place in the air when flying and leads surely, but unfortunately, to the death of the male mosquito. After this sad day, the female mosquito keeps its partner's sperm inside for weeks. In order for her eggs to develop, she must suck blood at regular intervals. Meanwhile, she tries to stay away from fish, lizards, birds, bats, and frogs that try to catch her. But could that be possible? These animals are there where the hot weather and humidity is. By the way, if you would like to follow us for more useful information, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to like this video. Mosquitoes flap their wings 500 times per second and fly a total of 250 kilometers in their lives. We can all imagine that they travel most of the way in summer. These little creatures, who remind us of themselves every day in summer on various occasions, prefer to stay in wetlands, canals, wet soils, and ponds. They need a lot of water to survive. But where are these nice creatures that we don't meet in summer? What do they do in winter? The most favored temperature of mosquitoes is the range of 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. From 15 degrees Celsius, their metabolism slows down. The mosquitoes, which are very sensitive to temperatures, gradually disappear with the slight cooling of the weather. While they make us believe that their generation is coming to an end, they actually live as larvae and eggs. So why don't we see eggs, even if they are tiny? Because these intelligent animals hide their eggs in suitable places or underground. The warm corners of our houses are also perfect for eggs and larvae. Mosquitoes that sometimes appear in winter are also creatures that think summer comes to the heat of the house and slowly approach the end of their lives. When the weather becomes warmer, the larvae and eggs, which are hidden in warm and hot places throughout the winter, begin to move. And remember, the tiny creatures we see now 
are the little mosquito babies who sucked our blood last year.